Ready to Succeed Season 2 Raid Shadow Legends. They're getting better edition. <laughs> Yay. Yay, I didn't wake up with swollen lips today edition. Great. Great news. Um, also, Fusion edition. <sighs> That's it. Those, those are the additions today. I haven't looked at the Fusion yet, so I don't know if she's any good. I, do, I, I know I don't want to do it. I know I don't want to do it. I know I don't want to do it. However, let's take a look at her and see uh, if we feel like we have to for some reason. I'm going to look at her in the index. What? what, what she's got to be Sylvan Watcher. Yeah, okay. I mean, I would like a new Sylvan Watcher. That would be that would be dope. Um, you. All right, so we've got another arena champ, I guess, which is interesting. Um, okay. Attacks one enemy chance of sleep if the target is under decreased speed or weakened, placed by this champion. This is seven, basically guaranteed sleep instead. Okay, if you skill her up. AoE, slow, and weaken with turn meter decrease. They're liking that 15% thing. Places speed and attack buff for three turns and has Apothecary's turn meter boost as a legendary on a four turn cooldown. I guess she's putting the buffs up for three turns. But so, it's almost like the, the, the speed cycling or the turn cycling would be better. Whenever this champion or an ally has their turn meter increased, heals all allies based... Oh, maybe that's why that's on a long cooldown. Based on their max HP, the percentage of the value... The percentage value of the heal is equal to half of the turn meter increase. Um, Man, I think I could do without her, honestly. She seems fine. I don't. It's not even that I think she's awful or anything. I just I can do without her. I, I don't. I can do without her. If I pulled her, fine. But I, I'm not. I'm not doing a fusion. So good. <laughs> we get to just relax for for a minute. Um, no, no coming back straight into the fucking chaos of it all. Uh, they added four other new champs too, didn't they? You know what would be really cool is if if from here they would if I could like click their name and go look at them that'd be so dope, dude. Oh, it's new two new mythicals, so Shadowkin and Undead. Let's take a look at them. Wow, is Shadowkin the first faction to get two? Okay. Leech perfect veil four times at random. I don't care too much. AoE, decreased defense and leech. Places an extra hit on enemies under two or more debuffs. Interesting. Ooh. Damn. 35%. Excuse me, what's his base? That's pretty dope, dude. That's pretty dope. AoE. Increasing enemy debuffs. AoE heals all allies. AoE slow and leech. Extra turn. He's pretty dope, man. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's cool enough that I forgot where the other one was. Undead? Calamitous. Pretty sick looking, dude. Pretty sick looking. Dude, they love a wing. They love a wing on the transformation. I'll take it. He's pretty sick looking. Yeah, he's pretty cool looking. Transfers all debuffs from this champion if the target is under hex. Transfers all debuffs from this champion to the target before attacking instead. AoE removes all debuffs from himself. So hex, okay. AoE, hex, and defense down. Ooh. Well, ignore poison cloud is huge. Transforms his champion. Fully heals his champion every time they kill an enemy under hex. Also increases. This champion's attack by 10% for each enemy under Hex. So it seems like Hydra, what they're going for here. 
I mean, obviously. Shape restores his champion's destroyed max HP. Four times each hit will ignore defense. Block buffs, defense down, weak and decrease speed. With no percentage to proc? Just oh. No, 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 yeah, no percentage to proc. Just does it. With accuracy. AoE. Always crits. Fifty percent of their max HP at the start of their turn. Holy shit, man! He's pretty cool. Too bad we'll never get one. <laughs> Any of them, but it's cool. It's cool. I'm glad they're all cool. Uh, Sacred Order and High Elves. Almond. Almond milk. And Wallmaster. Wallmaster, Almond, Sacred Order and High Elves. Oh, he's a dude. Increases all ally attack in battles. Increases ally crit rate in all battles. That's pretty dope. Heals this chain. What is he? An attack? If there is a surplus, heal. Places a shield. Will attack using the Burning Courage skill instead if the target is from the Corrupted Alliance. AoE. Increased by 5% for each buff. We'll ignore defense. Target has no buffs. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Attacks one enemy before attacking removes all buffs from the target. Damage increases by 20%. All right, one ally before attacking steals all buffs from the target. Cannot be resisted. Two allies. The damage inflicted by the skill increases by 20% for each turn. They can bind an ally or enemy before this champion's next turn. Three will attack all remaining enemies with any surplus damage if the target is killed. Cannot be critical. All right. Decreases the damage taken by, by this champion. By 10% for each turn. <laughs> All right. What's an allies turn meter? Royal death. All allies are immune to cooldown reducing effects. Interesting. <coughs> All right. High elves was the other one. Wallmaster. Is that his damn name? Was it High Elves? Athorion? Okay, you know what? Put his first fucking name there, dude. Be playing with me like that. Make me guess. He looks like he would walk into the room and Royal Huntsman would get a complex. Because he would no longer be the dude in the coolest shiny gold armor. Hmm. He'd, he'd, he'd be a real dick to this guy. Because he's getting one up. AoE will not trigger counterattacks. Turn meter by 5% for each living enemy. AoE twice. Block buffs decrease attack. Okay. Increase attack, increase accuracy, increase speed. Grants an extra turn. Increases this champion's max HP by 20% for each enemy killed. Or Hydra head decapitated. Stacks up to 50k. That's pretty cool. Those are pretty cool champs. Those are pretty cool champs. Uh, Alright. Update on Clan Boss. We we streamed yesterday. We're, we're sort of coming back around to stream and ra raid. So if you're not following me on Twitch and you want to catch a stream sometime, seems like we're, we're, we're doing that again, at least a few times a week. And I'm thinking I might get back to doing... I used to do summons 
for like community summons every Friday. Now that's going to be a little different now because I'm so far ahead that I, I think I would have to do a Friday night stream for that to work out, which maybe we'll do so that I can do summons for you guys on stream if you if you want. But uh, anyway, just follow me on Twitch if you want to catch a stream sometime. We'll probably start doing like takeovers occasionally, summons, just goofy, whatever we feel like doing shit, basically. Um, but we talked about it on stream yesterday and I thought, you know what, Deadwood and I have been talking for a long time about doing a collab. Um, so I hit him up and I was like, hey, you wanna, you wanna get together and do a video? And just give me thoughts. Just like look at my roster and give me thoughts. So like not fully build a team, but just I would I would be interested to know what he thinks. He he's been doing he's been a clan boss uh, expert for years. So I'm sure when he looks at my roster, he'll see very different things. And maybe I'm doing the best thing to do. Uh, but maybe maybe he's got some some other thoughts for something that would be interesting or maybe a little bit easier. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to link up with him as soon as possible and see how that goes, depending on schedule and stuff, because I do want to get it done soon. So if it's like if we can't get together for like a week, then I might just send him pictures of my roster <laughs> and have him give me some input so I can get started. But either way, we're, we're going to figure it out soon. But before I invest too heavily in what I'm doing currently, I thought it might be fun to, to see what he thinks. So um, we're we're that's what's going on with that. We built a new Scarab team on stream yesterday, and it's this, and man, holy shit does it work. Uh, it, it ended up being this team because I had Blood Shield for everybody on the team. I did have to take a ring off of Syl that was much better. She lost like over 6,000 HP for this ring, which really really chaps my nips but I, I reckon she'll be fine and everybody like this team's good H having blood shield on everybody in this dungeon it is absurd how much it changes this dungeon like that that's literally literally it. I'm, I'm i'm half of the belief that like it really doesn't even matter <laughs> what your team is if they've all got blood shield you you need some sort of heal but beyond that, I don't think it matters. So, I mean, I'm sure some of you know that already, but it's it's pretty ridiculous. So like the waves are slow. I don't have a good AOE wave clear that also has blood shield and I'm not taking anybody into that last round that doesn't have blood shield because it's it's again a completely different dungeon. If one person on the team doesn't have blood shield, it changes everything drastically. Gruckus out here doing it, dude. I like Gruckus. Y'all know that. Y'all know I like Gruckus, though. I don't need to say that. Y'all y'all already know how I feel about Gruckus. Dude, I'm telling y'all. God. I don't think that's worth it. I don't think that's worth it. I'm not I'm not doing that. Y'all need to check out Legend of Mushroom if you haven't yet. <laughs> it's so good. I'm rolling gear right now. And it's interesting the way that it all works. But I'm I'm getting pieces. So you get pieces that have their stats. And then there's two substats that affect something like your crit rate, your crit damage, your evasion, your stun, your regen. And I'm playing a mage, so I need I need skill crit. Um because there's there's crit rate and then there's crit rate for your skills, right? And all my pieces have I have a I have a, I had a really good build, but I've leveled up so much that the that the gear that I'm rolling is such a higher level than what I'm wearing that the stat boost like HP, attack, and defense are significantly higher. But I keep having to upgrade into pieces that don't have skill crit. So I'm losing all my skill crit, which means my build, in essence, is getting worse. And that's painful. I don't like that. Like, here's another one. I'd have to lose three skill crit, but I'd gain 
I mean, that, that's too big of a stat button for me to pass on. I have to take that. I'm losing all my skill crit, though. Damn it. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Pissing me off. Hmm. I turned off his A2 here. And I know he would do like bigger burst damage and get the shield down quicker and stuff, but I think the more turns we can prevent him from taking, the better. So I think it's better to just, for me, I think it's better to just have him A1 constantly. Between him and Syl and Ruella. There's been times where we've almost kept him from getting a turn at all, so. But like ended up being a pretty decent little squad. Even aside from the fact that having blood shield on everybody makes it kind of easy. There's some decent synergy here. It's good. It's good debuffs. There's a lot of turn meter manipulation. Good enough support. Like it's plenty of buffs. We've got block buffs so he can't steal them. And that, that, that was him. I put him in specifically for that reason. Um, but yeah, like. I think the headache of this dungeon is over. We'll see how it goes on hard. I think I'll probably... I think I'll probably have to six-star Armager at some point. It just it just can't happen for a while. I've got too many other things I'm trying to do. Um, but anyway, yeah. Pretty cool. Speaking of... How many of those champs can I bring into this fight? Ruckus Armager. That's it. Main, fuck you. Fuck you, Main. <laughs> um, so I think in the meantime, since we're not worrying about the fusion, I think I might finish their masteries. I want him to have the other counter attack. Um, people also pointed out in the stream yesterday that having this mastery on everybody except my stun target makes it much easier to guide the stun. So, again, depending on how the the link up with Deadwood goes, we may rework our mastery so that everybody except our stun targets have that. Um, may, I mean, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. I, I did it in the past without doing that, so I know that it's doable and I know I can do it, but we'll, we'll wait, we'll wait and see. We also summoned these yesterday on stream. And you didn't miss a goddamn thing there. You didn't miss anything there. <laughs> it was awful. It was a huge mistake to do that. Um, we farmed iron. We did a round of iron twins. So we had 20 of these and two of these. And boy, we may as well have had zero of all of them because it was terrible. We didn't get one thing I would ever consider using. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. So I guess we just let our shards pop. I know we got 2x Ancients this weekend. Um, according to RSL Helper. Oh, I don't remember. I think on Voids, according to RSL Helper, I've summoned 73. But I summoned quite a few before I started using RSL Helper. So I have no idea where I'm really at on Pity. I would assume... 120? 130 on voids so we probably still got a long way to go on voids um ancients i can't remember but it's a 2x this weekend so we'll see how we feel you know what i mean we'll see how we feel um we got 45 so we'll see maybe we'll let him keep piling up maybe we'll pop him maybe we're feeling a little far i really need to know where i'm at on pity and I think RSL Helper should have a good a good idea of where I'm at on Ancient Pity. So when it updates, uh, and I can open it again, I'll check. Because I guess if we're close to Pity, we don't want to do a 2x. I don't want to waste... You know what I mean? It seems counterproductive. So. Anyway, that's, uh, that's, that's what all we're working on. We'll... Keep pushing Doom Tower. We're almost done with normal. 
We'll keep making food. Yeah, pretty much that. Keep making food because I'm going to just need a bunch of food because it's very possible I'm going to have to build a few stun targets. And I mean, you just you just never stop needing food anyway, you know, so uh, that'll be that. Oh, yeah. It is a little bit of a shame I was unable to finish this again. That, that was due to going on vacation because I could make 30 five and six star pieces of this and that would be kind of dope, but it is what it is. Uh, we got to sit there whenever we want to make it. And then. Yeah, we might we might go do we might do a forge. Maybe I'll auto forge my resilience because I don't care about resilience. But this will be a good way to get our silver up. We're finally starting to accumulate materials for Swift Parry now, too. So we could consider getting some Swift Parry in action. Yeah, dude, I realized we're, we're, we're getting high enough in Faction Wars now that we're actually starting to get some materials to make some good gear. So, um, I may do another bulk sell of my shit gear. <clears throat> All right, that's it. I'm done for today. I'm getting out of here. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.